Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of NAHL Coaches Corner. I'm Alex Curious. Today we sit down with the new head coach of the Minnesota Magicians, Mr. Stu Bickle. Stu, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing, Alex? I'm doing great. Great to see you again. Uh, our pasts go back a long way, but uh, it's awesome to see you back in the league as a head coach, and certainly congratulations are in order. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. No, it's good to see you too. It's it's funny when you when you see faces come back around in this game. It's it's a small world, so uh, it's great to see you as well. Well, let's jump in right there with the, the magician's job. And I'm wondering uh, again, last season being with the University of Minnesota in an assistant capacity, uh, at what point did you know that the magician's head job was a reality? And and who were you talking with? And and ultimately, what led you to want to be a head coach in the North American Hockey League? Well, so a, a couple of things intrigued me about the opportunity. Um, I guess going back to where, where it started, uh, one of their owners had reached out to me uh, kind of in the midst of my search, uh, looking at different, uh, different options uh, in coaching, different openings that would be available. Um, right in the middle of that, he contacted me and asked me if, if I would be interested in uh, interviewing for the position. And uh, the timing just kind of all worked out perfectly. And, and so I got a chance to meet with, uh, with the group of owners and and being able to meet with them, uh, it was it was easy to tell that that uh, they're serious about winning and they and they want to build something here. And um, it was exciting to to see that and the, and the emphasis that they're willing to put on on the player development aspect of it and and the things that I'm trying to push forward. So overall, I just felt like it was a great fit, um, and and I'm excited to get going with the boys. Uh, this is going to be your first dive into being a head coach uh, in a level like the North American Hockey League. And I'm wondering, as you look back on your experience of being an assistant at the University of Minnesota, maybe even uh, your playing days as an NHL player, uh, how do you believe maybe uh, one or both of those will help you as a head coach? I think both will. Uh, that's a good question. And uh, I think, you know, in, in playing the game for a long time and it allows you to play for a lot of different coaches. Um, and so, I, you know, I was, I was unfortunate slash fortunate in that I, I played for a lot of different teams uh, throughout my pro career, especially. So having the opportunity to play in different systems, play for different style of coaches and kind of see what works and, and what doesn't really work too. Uh, you learn a lot uh, in that regard as a player. Uh, so that's really valuable and kind of, uh, helping you get your start in coaching and, and understand a room and understand players and things like that. Uh, and then getting into coaching the past couple of years here at, at the U of M, uh, I was really fortunate to be in a really good situation with the staff there with, with Bob Motzko and Garrett Raboyne and Ben Gordon. Uh, those guys all helped me along in understanding coaching. And, and, and there are certainly aspects of coaching that, that you can't pick up as a player. Uh, you know, you don't really consider the things like managing a group of, of 25 guys uh, in, in managing attitudes and egos and coordinating things and logistics things. It's uh, it, there's a lot more that goes into it than just the X's and O's and an individual teaching on the ice. So uh, that's been a, that's been a part of the learning process for me, but uh, over the past couple of years, I, I dove in and, and I've really had an opportunity to kind of participate in everything uh, as a coach. And so I feel like I'm, I'm ready for this opportunity. Uh, I'm going to put you back in the time machine. You were part of a Southern Minnesota Express team in the North American Hockey League. Uh, that was a really good organization, really well coached, a team that went to the Robertson Cup Championship uh, in Youngstown, Ohio that year. And I'm wondering, as you look back on your NAHL career, what did the league do for you then? And how has it changed as you look at the league today? Uh, you know, the, the league is a little bit different back then. I think it was, it was a little bit heavier. It kind of had that reputation a little bit. Um, but, but the game's changed, and it's become faster at every level. And, and our game's adapted as well, and, and our league's adapted to that. Um, we are a little bit of an older league, which I think is great in terms of, uh, you know, how it prepares you for, for playing against older players at the next level. Um, but I, I also think that uh, you know, it, it, there's, there's a fit for every player, right? And, and so in my experience playing in the North American League, uh, it was actually a situation where I had been in the USHL and uh, I just wasn't really developing at the rate that I, I, I thought I should be and uh, that I know I needed to, to, to play D1 hockey. So 
Uh, for me, it was, it was better to go to the North American League and, and be on a power play and kind of, uh, I guess, build a reputation for myself that, that I could play the game and, um, you know, that I could play a role on a team and play a big role on a team. And so that kind of helped me forward. Then I continued on and played another year of, of junior hockey after that before going to college. But uh, it was a really good stepping stone for me to, to uh, just play a big role and, and understand the leadership component, too, of junior hockey. Uh, you know, your veterans are only two, three years experience in the league. Uh, but, you know, that that's part of it. Becoming a veteran in junior hockey, I think, is uh, is huge. Uh, that's what college coaches want to see. Uh, pro scouts want to see that leadership component. And so for me, that was a, that was a big opportunity for me to kind of step forward and, and emerge as a leader as well. Uh, you're going to have a, your first opportunity to put your stamp on this team with the entry draft coming up in less than a month on July 21st. As you look over the commitments, uh, tenders, uh, the supplemental draft that the magicians have and you know who's leaving, uh, what are you focused on for this entry draft without getting giving anybody any secrets? Uh, what are you looking for to kind of put your own stamp on the team as a coach? Well, so I will be helping with, with the whole process. And, and, and I coached in the Elite League last year as well. And I've had a chance to see a, a lot of uh, draftable uh, age players, I guess, if that's even a term. Uh, but draft age players in our league, I've had a chance to see a lot of them play. Uh, so I will have some input there. But at the same time, we've, had a, we've now promoted a, an assistant from last year to director of player personnel. Uh, A.G. Pacino has become, Pacino has become our uh, our. GM and, and is solely doing that now. So we have a couple of guys that are really dialed into that, that, that I really respect what they've done to this point uh, in their recruiting and, and their scouting for our team. Uh, with that said, you know, we're going to be looking to add depth at all positions. Um, I, I think that's something that we're looking to, to really improve on is, is making our camp as competitive as we can get it. Uh, so we're going to have our main camp uh, starting in early August and uh, a big part of it is, is figuring out who we have to draft, who we have to invite on an open invite uh, to, to make that camp competitive. And from there, uh, you know, our guys are going to have a clean slate. Um, you know, I, I, I'm new to the organization, so I think that's great for all of our guys to, to be able to come in and kind of reprove themselves and, and take a step, some of them, in their game. So uh, I'm excited to get going. It's, it, it's going to be a blast. I've already had an opportunity to talk to a lot of our guys on the phone uh, I've met with a lot of our guys. We had our futures camp this past weekend. Uh, saw a few, a few of our guys out there. So uh, with our returning, returning core of players, uh, I'm, I really feel confident about that group and their ability to lead, uh, as well as their playing ability. So uh, I think we have a solid foundation built already. But obviously, yes, we're going to be looking to improve at all, at all positions. Uh, last question for you, Stu. You're right there in the heart of uh, the, the state of hockey in the Minneapolis area, and I'm wondering what is the state of hockey currently uh, in your area? You just mentioned the Futures Camps. It was great to see uh, the, the presence on social media, the young players coming out, finally getting uh, into rinks. But uh, give us a snapshot of what's happening in the area, how uh, open are the rinks and things like that. Yeah, good question. So our, our area here in Minneapolis actually is kind of uh, partway open, if I may. It's, it's, we actually ended up having our, our futures camp. We moved it uh, to Wisconsin and we did it out there, uh, which worked out. But right now, uh, really when I've been on the ice, I've been on the ice with, uh, with high school age players all the way up through pro, pro players. But it's been kind of a challenge a little bit putting together some of these practice plans, just given that all the restrictions with, with everything you can do and, and how many guys you can have on half the ice. And uh, there seems to be a little bit of variability there with depending on which rink you go to and all that. So it's, it's just kind of navigating this, this new uh, territory, I guess, and, and trying to figure out ways to keep guys on the ice and getting better. But um, no, we're, we're not, we're not full, uh, full go quite yet here in the state of hockey, but uh, I, I think it's coming up here. Well, perfect. Stu, again, congratulations on the position. We're really excited to see what the Magicians bring to the table this year in that always tough Midwest division. And we know that uh, uh, they're in good hands with the first year coach and yourself. And uh, welcome back to the NHL. It's good to have you. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. That's Stu Bickle here on another edition of NHL Coach's Corner.